What we realized was so interesting. Android was almost 100% of the sales. We need to reassess where we're at. Mayday, mayday, let's figure this out. That's when I saw that Wall Street Journal article and I said, let's just try it. Ad revenue dropped to about 9.9, so almost 10,000. And ROAS was at a 1.60. And this just didn't make any sense. So Android, Apple, A-B test aggressively due to our experiments. What are we going to see? We saw a pickup. So you can see here on the graph with the blue dots in July, which is when we made the changes, the purple line and the pink line are going to be the Android specific campaigns. The blue line, we just readjusted it and made it into a manual campaign that only served to Apple devices. We opened up the Apple devices. There's an idea where you can just stop it at the 14 um, update. I don't suggest doing that, but if you did do it, fine. That's another strategy you can have in play, but we didn't do that for this case. So the blue dots right there are going to symbolize when we made the changes. And what we realized was so interesting. Android was almost 100% of the sales. I saw a huge decline in Apple, both retargeting, prospecting, all of the above, because a lot of the debates we were having internally is do we just apply this to retargeting? What portion of the funnel do we do this in? And we did to all. And long story short, the clear winner is Android. So you see here, 5,000 in spend, still low. We actually spent less than that in May. We made 11.6 thousand, but our ROAS is at a 2.60 and we're continuously rising. And August is historically not that great of a month. So for us to see this huge rise and these pivots and changes that we made, it's really, really good. There's no reason for you not to try this out. And this is just one of the very many clients we did this for to stabilize. And it's been a winner for us. Mm -hmm.